let's recap those headlines for you now. China has launched its first domestically built aircraft carrier in Dalian, in the northeast province of Liaoning. The carrier was transferred from the dry dock into water at a ceremony conducted by the China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation. This is the country's second aircraft, aircraft carrier after the Liaoning. The head of the United Nations mission in South Sudan has warned the international community to be realistic in its expectations of the long-delayed regional protection force. Now 4,000 extra troops are due to be deployed to the troubled country. But the UN's David Shearer has pointed out they'll likely be constrained by the conditions imposed by the South Sudanese government. Italy says it has managed to broker a diplomatic compromise between the warring sides in Libya. The deal has the potential to bring the Tobruk-based House of Representatives and the Tripoli-based Government of National Unity together in a new political agreement after years of division. The scale of the breakthrough will be established later in the week. And UNICEF has delivered 2.5 billion doses of vaccines to children in nearly 100 countries, reaching almost half the world's children under the age of five. This week marks World Immunization Week, and Nigeria, Pakistan and Afghanistan have received the most doses. UNICEF says access to immunization has led to a dramatic decrease in child deaths. Despite this progress, the fund estimates about 19 million children worldwide still miss out on vaccinations each year. And that's a look at your headlines.